Hi squaddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, and today, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are being left out of any details about Kate Middleton, so says. There is clearly no trust, a source says of the tension between the couples. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are in the dark about Kate Middleton's abdominal surgery and recovery. They are aware of everything that goes on back in England, but are left out of any details regarding Kate. A family source says, there is clearly no trust. And I'm like, you are naive if you think this is a matter of trust. When it comes to the British monarchy, trust trust in ne is never a vocabulary in their book what is going on here is power you know it's the fight f for power it's the monarchy you know being narcissistic being bullies you know and trying to prove to harry and megan that you know what we are the ones in power because if you are being honest no matter what has happened between harry Meghan, Kate Middleton, and Prince William over the years, I am 100% sure that Harry and Meghan are worried about Kate Middleton's, you know, health. You know, because when your family is in trouble, you know, and Harry clearly admitted to this, that, that sicknesses tend to bring families closer, you know. And ha now here is Harry and Meghan. They are worried, you know, about Kate Middleton, especially with the rumors and the conspiracy theories that are going on in the internet. I bet they are 100% worried. But the, you know, the monarchy and the system, it's like, no, we, we ain't gonna tell you, you know, because we are the one who holds the power. What they forget is Harry and Meghan left that system, you know. It was no longer working for them, you know. They could not handle being bullied by the monarchy day in, day out, you know, just for the monarchy to prove to Harry and Meghan, you know, when they were still working royals, that it has power over them, you know. So Harry and Meghan left, so they no longer subscribe to those power dynamics in the monarchy. And it's really sad that... Kate Middleton and Prince William are allowing themselves to be dragged around by the monarchy. Like, however the institution wants them to behave, they are there following orders. You know, it's really sad because I bet Prince William knows, Kate Middleton knows that Harry and Meghan are worried about her. They are worried about her condition, you know, but they are there being loyal soldiers to the monarchy saying yeah whatever you want us to do even if it's holding back information regarding our health from our family members we are going to do it um despite prince harry traveling from california to uk last month following the announcement of king charles cancer diagnosis his brief a visit to his home country did not invoke meeting with his brother Prince William or sister-in-law Princess Kate 42. Um, a royal source said at the time there were no plans for the brothers to get together. And again this is not about whether Harry, um, Harry and Prince William are in good terms. No. This is about something much more greater. It's about someone's health. It's about a family member who is not doing well um a former courtier suggests that the prince of wales um principal concerns is his wife in the weeks following his surgery that kept her in the hospital for nearly two weeks but trust continues to be a concern following the release of harry revealing memo and the netflix docuseries with megan and i don't know why people love dragging the docuseries and the books pair into all this drama because what happened was with spare it was revealing the things that hurt harry and megan you know but um kate being sick her condition that's a private matter you know and harry showed us how much he cares about privacy you know especially when it comes to someone's health um i bet you remember during the interview during the victor's games he was asked how is your father doing tell us more about your father he was like no 
I am not going to dive into that because it's none of your business. I am a family member. It's right for me to know. But you, no, 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 no. I am not going to announce such things to the public, you know. And I'm like, unless it's a lie, because what Harry and Meghan released and, you know, shared in the docuseries and in Harry's book Spare was the lies, you know. They were providing the truth to the lies. So unless it's a lie that Kate Middleton has been sick for all those months, I don't see a reason why they shouldn't inform harry and megan about what is happening to her because i bet they are sick worried about her you know plus we know that harry and megan no longer hold grudge towards prince william and kate middleton you know they released their heart and they forgave them you know so i bet they are sick worried about her and it would be right to tell them, you know, for Prince William and Kate Middleton to tell them, you know, about how she is doing. Um, it will be the normal run of things to go and see your sister-in-law who had a serious operation and also see your niece and nephews. But it isn't normal. It's terribly sad. In another sign of the ongoing rifts, um, Queen Camilla made a deliberate effort to be in the room during Prince Harry and King Charles' 30 minute reunion. This is all to do with William's wish to protect the institution of the monarchy. Look at that again, caving into the demands of the institution. You know, not recognizing family, not recognizing the value of family. You know, and I feel like the issue with these all other royals that are still stuck with the monarchy is that they cannot believe that Harry managed to get out of the system. They cannot believe that Harry managed to get his own freedom, you know? And I bet they are scared that if they spend more time with him, they might be convinced, you know, that freedom is better than being stuck in an institution that doesn't really care about you. An institution that all it cares about is power, you know? All it cares about is if you don't follow what it says you should do, is bullying you just to try and tell you, you know what, I am the one who is the most powerful in the whole world. Because let's take an example with Prince Harry. Prince Harry served the monarchy loyally, right? He did that. He served it, you know, to the best of his ability. But the minute he dared to make a choice that was not in line with the monarchy, you can see what happens to him. He is being bullied day in, day out online, you know? He's being bullied day in, day out by the royals who are serving the monarchy. He is being bullied day in, day out by the institution, you know? But again, Harry is a brave man. Harry is a brave person because no matter what what you know the monarchy does he perseveres on you know he walks with his head held on high um um i don't think william will ever agree to readmission of harry into the family unless he clearly apologizes and moves forward look at this look at this. you see what i'm saying about power it's like yeah we will only give you um information about kids unless you do a b c d you know but sometimes it's if your family you don't have to do anything it doesn't matter whether you have made different choices and harry clearly shows us this you know obviously he has he didn't agree with the way his father did things you know and uh, let's say for example king charles taking the frogmore cottage away from him you know king charles not being there to support them when megan was going through a very hard period you know he was not there for his son but when the time came you know, when King Charles needed family around her, Harry literally drew all those other issues out of the window. And he was like, no, this is my father. He is sick and I have to be there for him. You know, he didn't start saying, oh, my father has to apologize for me so that I can go and see him, you know, while he has cancer. No, he was like, I don't care about the rest. You are the person you are. I might not agree with the way you do things. And that's completely okay but right now we are dealing with sickness and nothing else matters apart from you getting well and getting well really soon um prince harry um spoke with good uh, morning america's will rib last month about the trip to uk to see his father look 
I love my family. The fact that I was able to get on a plane and go and see him and spend any time with him, I am grateful for that. Harry said, look at that, you know? You know, Harry will never cease to amaze me. He's such an amazing human being. You know, when you compare him with these other royals, you're like, no, these people do not deserve you. They have never, ever deserved the person you are. But either way, he's like, these are my, this is my family, you know? This is my family. And no matter what they do, no matter how much of villains they are, no matter how they have allowed themselves to be caged by a system that doesn't really care about them, I love them and i am grateful to have had that moment with my father especially because he was going through and he is still going through a very hard period in his life um as for whether king charles cancer diagnosis could have a unifying effect on the royal family harry who was in canada connecting with invictus games competitors and their loved ones said absolutely yeah I am sure throughout these families, I see it on a day-to-day -day basis. The strength of family units coming together. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, because there comes a time when you throw everything else outside and you're like, nothing else matters apart from this certain family member, you know? And it's really sad that Prince William and Kate Middleton, you know, are still holding on to their pride. You know, they are still holding on to the to the notion of the monarchy regarding power you know because i bet they feel so powerful not telling you know or updating harry and megan regarding the condition of kate middleton you know but this is a time when people should come together and people should allow themselves to be loved no matter who they are because honestly i i still believe that kate middleton and prince william are very guilty you know i believe um they harbor so much guilt in their souls that they cannot allow themselves to be in the same room with prince harry that they cannot allow themselves to be loved by by Prince Harry but there comes a time when you just you just allow yourself let the guilt go and let yourself be loved by a person who actually loves you not because of who you are what you do what kind of power you have but because you are their family um the Duke of Sussex added I have my own family as we all do my family and my life in California as it is I've got other trips planned that will take me through the UK or back to the UK so I'll stop in and see my family as much as I can. Again, other, another moment to just sit down and admire Prince Harry for the man he is. You know, in spite of these guys giving him a cold shoulder, he's like, I don't care about the rest. I care about you guys and I am here for you. With King Charles and Princess Kate's health cares, keeping them away from public duties, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would be major figures in the royal family if they hadn't stepped back from their roles in 2020. Um, yeah yeah we know we have heard all about this but i honestly don't believe that that's what matters in this moment what matters is kate middleton's health you know and if if prince william and kate middleton didn't subscribe so much to the cages of the monarchy you know to the power hungry monarchy and i don't know how they don't see this you know because one day the monarchy will be when you're doing things correctly and just you know following everything that it tells you to do you know the institution everything that you're supposed you're, you're being told to do and you're following the rules it's really good to you but once you have a different thought once you decide to do things your own way it turns your back on you and it's like yeah i am the man i am the person you know and it tries to punish you you know and it would be really nice if these guys uncaged themselves from that system from that mentality because for some like prince william they are so in it that it has become a mentality for them um anyway um i i don't think Prince William or Meghan Markle are angry for being left out because I feel like more than anyone they understand Kate Middleton and Prince William because once upon a time they had subscribed to that way of living and I bet all they are sending towards these uh, these guys Prince William and Kate Middleton is love you know is empathy that's all they are sending to them you know 
yeah and hopefully someday you know they their eyes will be opened in some way though <laughs> I don't know why, but that's very highly unlikely. But I don't think they they have any bitter feelings towards Kate Middleton or Prince William for not um, updating them regarding her health. And I bet they wish her a very very quick recovery. Um. Anyway, that's it from me to you. And until the next video, bye bye.